Hello friends, this video on Water a Precious Resource Part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Worry is that water table has started depleting. So the water table itself is, you know, kind of become, getting lost. So at a lot of places, it becomes very, very difficult to locate the water table. Because the water table itself doesn't exist very prominently. Now that is a very serious threat that shows that water table doesn't exist. What does that mean? That means that there is not enough water below the ground. So basically ground water is depleting in a way and that is extremely threatening. Now. So now this depletion of water table can occur due to a variety of reasons. It can happen when the usage becomes more than the supply. Now when I say usage, water is being used by a lot of us. In fact, it is anyways used by a lot of living organisms. But specifically, whenever the word depletion comes in terms of water, one of the major causes behind it is human beings. Now, when the usage by human beings, it becomes more than the supply of water, that is when the water table starts depleting. Now, with the population increasing so fast, so the needs are also increasing. So therefore, the usage of water is also increasing for a variety of purposes. For example, sometimes groundwater is used for construction purpose. Sometimes the groundwater is used for all the household purposes. Sometimes a lot of it is wasted as well. So that way, uh, you know, when the usage is more than the supply and from where, where do we get the supply of this groundwater? So the supply comes from either the rainfall or from other water reservoirs. So these, these are the two uh, sources of groundwater. So only by these two ways the groundwater gets refilled. But when we are taking the groundwater to a very, I mean, utilizing it more than whatever is coming into it, then what will happen? Then water table will start depleting. So it is something like this is a bank. And from this bank, you are taking out more money and you are depositing very less money. So what will happen? So the net balance in the bank will reduce, correct? Because you are taking out more when compared to how much you are giving in. So this could be one reason. So overpopulation definitely could be one reason for depletion of water table. Development of industries and factories could be another reason because when we set up industries and factories, we actually clear out huge stretch of forest lands. As a result, uh, the source of groundwater, they are not able to, you know, increase or they are not able to refill groundwater. So that, that also becomes another reason. Another reason could be agricultural needs. Now, in a lot of places, uh, we all know that agriculture is all about growing crops. Now, for agriculture, sufficient amount of water is needed. In a lot of places where there is not enough rainfall, so what do they do? They utilize the underground water to water their crops. Now, when we talk about agriculture, it is not about a small garden or a five or four plants which you need to water. It is like huge stretch of land which needs to be watered on daily basis. So when you are utilizing that much of water or when you are taking so much of water from the underground reservoir, so then obviously there are chances that the water table will deplete. So these could be some of the reasons behind depletion of water table. So let us quickly look at the causes once more. The first cause would be overpopulation and it is very important for us to put a check on this because if it keeps on increasing like this, we, there, we will fall short of almost all the resources, not only water. Groundwater is used for construction purposes. Now, when it is used for construction purpose, first of all, a lot of groundwater gets utilized just for the construction thing. Secondly, that entire stretch of land gets, you know, covered with a cemented building and therefore the seepage of water to, through the soil becomes difficult. In fact, it doesn't happen. So that is another uh, disadvantage. Lesser open areas, parks, lawns and playgrounds because as I mentioned below in the open areas the water can seep in very easily. So, what, so that means the groundwater gets refilled by rainfall but in 
closed areas like in buildings and uh, the cemented floor the water is not allowed to pass through very easily so water doesn't seep in that easily but however these days due to construction of roads pavements offices etc open areas are reducing and therefore the ground water is also comparatively lesser field increasing industries and factories now, if you look at any object around you, whether you talk about paper, whether you talk about anything, so production of any object needs water. So water is a very common thing which is needed in the production process in most of the industries. Now, when we increasingly set up industries and factories, so one thing is we first clear of forests and then we cover that area with these industries and factories. That is one thing. Secondly, for these industries and factories to run, again, we need a lot of water. So that is also, you know, it is a threat to water. Now, when I say, when I repeat so many times that, okay, industries and factories are a threat for water, that doesn't mean that we should not set up industries and factories, but we should do it in a wise manner. So if we think that we are setting up industry because even industries and factories are producing goods which are needed by us in our day to day life. So even if we are setting up an industry or a factory at a particular location, we should ensure that we compensate that amount of trees in some other location. So if we know that this particular industry is going to utilize this much of water, so we should try to stop wastage of water in some other places so that you know we can just balance it overall. So we actually need to be very judicious and we need to be very wise while taking these kind of decisions. Agricultural needs. Now, as I said, irrigation, that is watering of the crops is an important part of agriculture. Now, sometimes when there is inadequate, now in, especially in the villages, uh, farmers, especially I mean, mostly, basically, they depend on the rainfall for irrigation. But sometimes when there is inadequate rainfall, then the groundwater is utilized for irrigation. Now, there are various methods of irrigation and it has been observed that the traditional methods of irrigation results in a lot of water wastage. So, we will quickly look at some of the modern methods of agriculture where, you know, you have the drip system where only required amount of water will come out and it will water the plants. So, that, that they are the modern methods which, which economically uses water. But according to traditional methods, as you can see in this picture, this person is carrying water from the well and then he is watering the plant. So, a lot of water is actually falling down when he is moving from one place to another. So, there is a lot of water wastage involved in this case. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.